in today's video I'll be showing you how to achieve the look that I'm wearing right now. You guys have been requesting me to do a prom makeup tutorial for a really long time now and here it is, it's finally here and I hope you guys like it. So I was trying to come up with something that would match um, lots of different outfits and um, eye shapes and different faces and I came up with this look and I think that it's really natural, I mean it's not something really dramatic but uh, it's really glam at the same time. And if you feel like the eyeliner isn't your best friend um, and you're kind of struggling with it, you can skip it, don't worry about that. Or if you think that adding something else to this look would make it even better, do it, feel free to, to change whatever you want in this look, but you can really get an idea from it. And before you get started, I just want to tell you guys that I'm really, really happy that you enjoy my previous video, which is the do my makeup video. I spent so many hours working on it and I'm so glad that you guys enjoy it and you appreciate that and uh, you're having fun creating different looks and basically using my face as a canvas. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll have the link down in the description box. I think that you should definitely check it if you haven't already. So yeah, I'm just going to stop talking now and get to the tutorial of this look. Alright guys, so the first step is the primer and it's really important especially for the special occasions like prom and you know all of that because you want your makeup to stay on your face for as long as possible. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And for foundation today, I'm going with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I'm in the shade Y215 and I'll just use my beauty blender to apply it on my face. And this is a great foundation for an everyday use, for a special occasion, for everything like that. I mean, it's just a great product and the way that it sits on the skin, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, it's almost invisible. You still get that coverage, but you don't get the texture of the foundation. And it's buildable, so if you feel like you need a little bit more coverage on certain areas, you can apply a little bit more product. I wouldn't suggest you to use too much foundation. Um, you want to just apply it so that you even up your skin tone. And if you have any blemishes and areas that you want to cover up a little bit more, you can use some concealer for that. And again, you want to use a small amount. You don't want to like create a mask of products on your face. So um, I have a couple of blemishes like here and there that um, I want to cover up. So I'm going to use some cream concealer. This is the Morphe 9, uh, sorry, 15 con palette. It's really gross, <laughs> but I've been using it a lot lately. And you can see that this one here is my favorite. So I'm going to take some of it on a pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30. And I will add it just on the areas that I need a little bit more coverage. And you can also like use your fingers to kind of press the product into the skin. Alright, so now it's time for the under eye area and this is a really important part because it's going to make you look a lot more awake and alive and you definitely want that. I'm actually going to mix two concealers to cover up the darkness under my eyes. The one is by Maybelline, it's the anti-age um, eraser eye perfect and cover concealer. <laughs> I got it in a shade light, but it's a little bit dark for me, so I'll mix it with the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 15. So yeah, I'm just going to apply them both under my eyes and I'll use my beauty blender to blend them out. I also like bring it on my eyelid. I'm gonna use that as a primer for the eyeshadows. And then I'll set it in place with the Rimmel Stay Match Powder. Stay Match. <laughs> it, this was something between Match Perfection and Stay Matte. You know, the two powders by Rimmel. This is actually the Match Perfection one. So I'll just take a small amount of it on the brush. This is the Sigma F35, by the way. And I'll just press it on that concealer. I'm not swiping because if I swipe, some of the concealer can stick on the brush and then I would lose some of that coverage that it gave me, so I want to avoid that. And now I also want to set my entire face with some powder so that the foundation and the concealer and all that stuff that we applied stay in place. So I'll use a very lightweight powder. This is the L'Oreal Nude Baby Powder. I'll use a brush by Too Faced. This is called Powder Brush. And again, I'm pressing the product into the skin. I'm not swiping. And 
And what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to spray some setting spray. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. I just want to use it to set the base and um, you have to shake it first. And at the end we're gonna spray again so that, you know, we are sure that the makeup stays in place all day. And if you're wondering what I'm doing with my hands right now, I'm just um, helping that setting spray to dry on my face. Okay, so now let's just let the face rest for a while while we're doing the eye makeup. You can see that the concealer that I bring with the Beauty Blender on my eyelids is creasing really badly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit more. Like this. I'll take again my Beauty Blender and I'll just blend it out. And again, I'll use some powder to set it so that it won't crease again. And I'm basically using a uh, concealer as an eyeshadow base. I mean, it's a really affordable solution, so why not? And it does a great job. Almost every concealer works for that. However, I think that the best ones are the liquid concealers, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now let's go ahead and do the eyebrows. I'll start off by brushing them up with the Benefit Ready Set Brow. This is going to keep the hairs in place for a really long time. And then I'll use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade to fill them in and give them a better shape. I'm cleaning up the edges with some concealer. So I went for a little bit more dramatic brows today. However, if you're not used to filling your eyebrows or you just prefer them looking more natural, definitely go for that. Just do whatever you're used to doing. I want to suggest you to do experiments with your eyebrows for your prom. Just don't. <laughs> it's time for the eyeshadows now and I promise you guys I'm going to keep everything really simple. It's nothing difficult so don't worry. You don't need to have the exact same tools and products as me. Just use something similar, whatever you have. So the first eyeshadow that I'll be using is this one here. It's really, it's kind of close to my skin tone but it's just a touch darker and this is by Makeup Geek. It's called Creme Brulee and with the Morphe M505 I'll just apply it in my crease and this is going to be our transition color. And try to keep it just in the crease, don't bring it really high to the brow bone. With the same brush, I'm taking this darker brown shade. It's again by Makeup Geek, it's called Coco Bear, and I will place it in the outer corners of my eyes. So I'm focusing most of the product at this area right here. And I'm kind of like doing circular motions. And then once I have almost nothing left on my brush, I'll kind of like blend it into the lid area. But I'll try to keep it in the outer half of the eye. I won't bring it, you know, in the inner corners. I will deepen up the outer corner just a little bit more. I'll use this even darker brown shade again by Makeup Geek. It's called Mocha. And I'm switching to a smaller blending brush. This is the Zuiva 231. And again, I'm applying that shade in the outer corners. Switching again to that Morphe M505. I'll just make sure that there are no harsh lines. And the brush has no products in it. It's just, you know, whatever it, it was left from when I was applying the other eyeshadows. Really gently diffusing the lines. Going back to that first eyeshadow that I used in my crease, I'll take it on a pencil brush, this is the Sigma E30, and I will smudge it along my lower lashes. I also add just a tiny little bit of the eyeshadow called Coco Bear and I'll place it right here, like this. I won't bring it in the inner corner. And I'm also connecting it with the eyeshadows on the upper lid. And now it's time to add the shimmer to this look and make it really nice and bright and shiny. If you're feeling like doing something bolder, you can switch to glitter, but I'll use shimmer today. And I'll go with this one here by Morphe. This is actually a pressed pigment and it's called Mimosa Sunday. I'll use a flat brush to apply it and I got this brush a really long time ago from eBay, by the way. I just wet it a little bit before I use it. And what I'm gonna do with that shimmer is I'm going to apply it in the inner half of my eyelids. 
I will stop like somewhere here, like this. I won't bring it on top of the dark brown shades that we applied. And on top of it, I'll add one more shimmery shade. This one is by Makeup Geek. It's called Shima Shima. I'm using again the same brush. I'm taking that smaller blending brush that I used to apply the very dark brown shade in the outer corner. And I didn't add any product on it, so I'll just use it to diffuse the edges of those shimmery shades. And you can see that the shimmery shades really open up my eyes and make me look a little bit more awake. Now it's time for eyeliner and I'll use a Too Faced sketch marker. It's actually like a uh, felt tip liner. So to finish up the eye makeup, we just need to go on the false lashes. And again, if you're not used to wearing false lashes, don't wear them. On my prom, I didn't wear false lashes and I was fine. So yeah, it's not a big deal. I'll go with the House of Lashes Iconic Light. And this is the light version of the iconic lashes that they have. And I like this. I like this. They're really nice. So first, I'm curling my lashes. And after that, I'm coating them with some mascara. And then it's time for the falsies. The eye makeup is complete, we just have left to highlight the inner corners and the brow bone but we'll do that in a while. And now let's go back to the face and finish up where we started. First I will apply some bronzer and this is the Hula bronzer but um, the light version. I will use the Sigma F40 to apply it um, on my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead. And this is going to like add some warmth and definition to my face. From the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I'll take some of this shade right here and I'm using the Sigma F06. You can see that I got it just at the edge of that brush, so I'm going to place that edge in the hollows of my cheeks. That's going to be my contour for today, like nothing dramatic, just uh, creating like a soft shadow there. <laughs> look we just need to apply some lipstick and honestly the lip color that you want to choose really depends on the outfit that you're wearing however I'll go with something like pink nude so I'll use this liquid lipstick by Jouer it's in the shade blush I really really love this lip color And on top of it I'll add just a tiny little bit of a lip gloss this one is by Sigma it's in the shade Sleep and lastly, I'll set the makeup in place with the L'Oreal Infallible Mixing Fixing Mist. <laughs> Alright, and this is the finished look guys. I really hope you like how it turned out. I honestly wish that I could wear this look for my prom. I remember that for my prom I wasn't really wearing lots of makeup. I didn't do my own makeup, I actually went to a makeup artist, but I remember that I was asking her that she would do something that like something like a no makeup makeup look you know i know that it sounds kind of weird but back then i wasn't really that much into makeup so i was kind of scared to wear like lots of things on my face makeup is a good thing but if you're not used to it better don't overdo it because you won't feel comfortable in your skin and don't do something just because someone else is doing it you know just be yourself and have fun i really hope you guys have an amazing prom one whatever in the world you are and if you haven't 
haven't seen my previous video, I would definitely recommend you to check it out. It's so much fun. Don't forget that you can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and also visit my blog. All of the links will be down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!